Good news, Master Bruce. I believe we have identified the cure. Mr. Fox has manufactured enough to heal you and is working on a larger batch for the people of Gotham. The Batwing has been dispatched, and it should be within your vicinity shortly. I'm sure I don't need to remind you not to waste any time in taking it. More tea, Batman. Where am I? What's going on? What a question. Shall I tell him? Oh, he looks so confused. Maybe I should. Well, it's simple, really. I planted a teeny tiny little idea in your head. A sort of remote hypnotic suggestion. Very complicated stuff. I'm sure you wouldn't understand, but as you can see, it worked. You're mine now. You're mine, and there's nothing that Strange can do about it. Oh, are you not going to drink your tea? It's special tea. My special tea. My special tea. <laughs> Go to hell, Jervis. Simply put, I made you see what you wanted most. Mm-hmm. What was it? Tell me. Tell me. Oh, tell me. <laughs> so predictable, just like Alice. Never doing what I want without ludicrous amounts of psychoactive controls. Well, if that's what's necessary, it's a good job that you've already taken them. All we need now is a finishing touch. A special new hat. Just for you. You are my soldier now, Batman. You will do everything I say. You will do anything I want. Oh, no, 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 no! This isn't right! You can't be doing this! Alice will be here soon, Batman. You don't want to miss her now, do you? Fighting it. Stop. 
stop fighting. Imagine you are far away. You must. Don't ever try to get in my head again, Hatter. But you don't understand. I need you. I can't win without you. Then you lose. I'm not your slave. Not now. Not ever. Patient interview one. Subject's name, Jervis Tetch, a.k.a. the Mad Hatter. Brought to Arkham Asylum by the Batman six months ago. Patient exhibits signs of obsessive compulsion and paranoid schizophrenia. Sit down, Mr. Tetch. But it's no time to sit. I need Alice. Where is my Alice? Please. No time to sit, not time to chat. I'm searching for Alice, and I've lost my head. Guard, restrain Mr. Tetch. 
Alice isn't here yet. Just relax, Jervis. She will be here soon. I promise. Now, would you like some tea? Is Alice here yet? No, I'm afraid not. Let us talk while we wait. You and I have much in common, Jervis. Really? Do you know Alice too? Unfortunately not. You and I both share an interest in the mind, do we not? I studied your papers, Jervis. You are quite brilliant. Truly an extraordinary mind. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's all just chemicals and synapses and rabbits and... Oh, where is Alice? You need to focus. Think about your work for a minute. You theorize that there is no such thing as free will, that you can change a man's allegiances, his motives, emotions, all of what we believe makes a man with chemicals. Your formula was really quite brilliant. That's why I used it. Well, how did you get it? Did Alice give it to you? Wicked girl. Nasty little thing. Is she here yet? Soon, Jervis, soon. Is she? Oh, you told me that Alice... Alice, come out. Don't pout. Don't make me shout, Alice. Come out. Where are you? Take a look at the pictures, Jervis. Oh, oh, um, 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 who, who are these people? Look again. Oh, I, 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 I don't know who they are. Oh, please, is Alice here or not? Look at the first picture. Look at the dress she is wearing. Look at the hair. It's Alice, isn't it? No, no, no. It can't be Alice. Alice has nice yellow hair. And isn't covered in blood. I think you know exactly who this is, Mr. Tetch. I think you remember the night you lured Stephanie Williams back to your research lab. How you offered her tea. What happened then? No, no, no. You killed her, didn't you? No. She went no. first. It's okay, Jervis. It's all right to remember. How many Alices were there? I, I can't remember. <laughs> well, Alice isn't coming, is she? That all depends on how you cooperate. I have a little side project that I'm working on. I could use your help. My help? I can't help. I'll be late. Stay focused, Jervis. This facility is old, tired, full of ghosts. Ghosts? A figure of speech. Do not worry. Arkham Asylum will not exist forever. Its techniques are old, its mission outdated. I intend to create a new Arkham, an Arkham that will rise phoenix-like from the ashes of this one. Is there a fire? We should get out of here. I have arranged for some documents to be left in your cell. They outline a technique I propose to control the mind of, uh, shall we just say, weaker souls. I cannot do it without rabbits. I need rabbits for my research and tea and... And Alice, I know. I have arranged for a number of test subjects to be at your disposal. They have been here at Arkham for so many years that no one will miss them. Shall we meet again next week? Oh, and I took the liberty of having your hats returned. I assume that will provide all the encouragement you require. Well done, well done. I must say you have outperformed even my wildest expectations. Yes. Did you see the people at my tea party? They all behaved themselves. <laughs> yes, they did, Jervis. I'm very pleased. I have just one last request to make of you. You must keep it a secret. 
Can you keep a secret, Jervis? With enough hats, I can stop people remembering secrets. Does that count? It will have to. I need you to pay a visit to Warden Sharp. He needs to come around to my way of thinking. <gasps> to join our tea party? Exactly. I don't want to. Of course you do. How else will you get to play with Alice? Oh, what? I have a new assistant for you, Jervis. I had her brought in specially. Look at her. She's just through there. Oh, it's Alice. She's here. No, no, what are you doing? I need to see her. And you can, as soon as you do what I asked. Can I keep her? Of course. She'll be all yours. She's Alice. <laughs> 